Hi, in this video, I'll teach you how to make a DC to DC boost converter circuit. The exact electronic term for it is DC chopper. Since I'm making a step up circuit, so it will be called a DC step up chopper circuit. For general understanding, you may call it as a DC to DC voltage step up circuit. In my previous videos, many of you asked for the circuit diagrams so here it is guys also this is gonna be the simplest of all DC to DC voltage step up circuits and yes being simple has its own disadvantages like uncontrolled chopping frequency which varies with load rating aka bigger the load lesser the frequency and vice versa I'm starting with a simple circuit cause we can run only after we have started walking, right? As I told you about its greatest disadvantage being uncontrolled frequency ranging from 0 Hz which will be under maximum loading to around 180 Hz for no load. So its greatest disadvantage is also its greatest advantage which is the large frequency range from 0 to 180 Hz. Our appliances work best at 50 Hz to 60 Hz. So if we use it not as the boost converter circuit, but just as a simple oscillator that's gonna drive the actual DC to DC converter, we can control the frequency as required by simply loading and unloading this oscillator circuit, which is here being used in this video as a simple DC to DC converter circuit. So anyways, I will get to that part in my future videos. Let's get on with it. The circuit contains two pieces of CTC1351 power transistors which are connected to each other with 1 kilo ohm resistors in between. The collector of the transistors have been connected to the 1 is to 1 transformer with a center tap being positive and common emitter being the negative. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, a low-cost, high-quality PCB manufacturing company of China. They provide assembly services, PCBs, stencils, and flexible PCBs all over the world. Assembly build time is 3 to 5 days at just $1.88 for 10 pieces of assembly orders. Also, PCBA provides free stencils at just $1.15 per piece.
as you can see guys the circuit is really simple and compact requiring only five components on the circuit board and now that the construction is complete it's time to practically test it with a multimeter I will be using a 3.7 volts lithium ion battery cell and step it up to 9 volts AC you should note that at present it will produce AC which is alternating current that I will have to rectify with a bridge rectifier to get DC direct current So guys as you can see that the circuit is performing as expected with an input supply of 3.7 volts it is producing 9 volts DC 9.2 to be exact although the input voltage from the battery cell is also 3.5 volts because it is a little bit discharged so anyways guys I hope you liked this video that would be all for today Thank you so much for watching it, please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe, thank you.